What's going on everyone? It's Brain with Jacoja Fine Jewelry, your personal jeweler. We're shipping out a lot of gold pieces of jewelry today and when I have all the pieces out, I like to just try them on to help you guys out decide what the best bracelet or chain is for you. So let's talk about the different styles and sizes. With that being said, let's get started. We have a lot of shipments going out today. A lot of the same stuff, but I want to show some highlights. The first one is the two and a half millimeter Miami Cuban link chain. I don't sell this one too often, but someone snatched it up. Very nice looking link, simple chain. Um, the next would be a nice massive rope bracelet. That's a seven millimeter size. I'll put that on. And then we have a 14K alien pendant. This one is awesome. It'll be on the website soon. I put a hook on the back just because it kind of keeps the design, the alien head. I just want a solitaire alien when you look at it instead of putting the bail on top. So it has a little hook on the back. Um, we have some rope chains, four millimeters. Let's check out the four millimeter compared to the five millimeter for you guys kind of in between because that is a tough call. But again, you could definitely see five millimeter has a little width over the four millimeter obviously. But the four millimeter as far as the bigger sizes is my most popular. A lot of people like that size. Five millimeter, you can't go wrong. We have my favorite bracelet. I have one of these, the 10 millimeter Miami Cuban Link custom script necklace that says Leslie on it. Um, a lot of people ask me about them. It really depends on the size, how many letters, what the gram weight is. This is on a nice simple Rolo chain. And then we have always fun to look at the Francos. Oh, this is a really nice, the Mariner seven millimeter. Very nice. I love the Mariner chain. Such a classy and durable link and you can't go wrong with putting it around your wrist at all. And then along here we got we got a bunch. I put the four millimeter flat curve bracelets on the website and sold five in a day. So now they're almost out of stock again. But there are all the chains. Got a little bit of everything here. I got on the bracelets now, or a few of them. From left to right, we have the three and a half Miami Cuban link, and then the four millimeter flat curb, the seven millimeter Mariner chain, the seven millimeter rope bracelet, and then the big boy, the 10 millimeter Miami Cuban link. Um, now, I like all designs and all sizes. If you just look at the rope, just like the chains, because of how it's designed, it definitely stands out. If you're to compare the seven millimeter Mariner versus the seven millimeter rope chain, you can see the rope chain just stands out a little bit more. Um, but again, the Mariner in real life, very nice link and it is classy. So it kind of depends on the situation and how you want it to look on your wrist. And these little ones, the three and a half and the four millimeter flat curb are just good starter chains. You stack them together or if you just want something you know, simple around your list, go, wrist go with these sizes um, because they're all quality at the end of the day and that's the most important thing. And then with the 10 millimeter Miami Cuban link, that is a great bracelet, you can't go wrong. Um, I have the 10 millimeter and just sometimes I honestly go with like the four or five millimeter bracelet size because I don't want such a thick or heavy bracelet around my wrist. But most of the times I like to wear it because it really does stand out. You get compliments and it's just a nice look overall. But the smaller bracelets are fun to wear. Um, I always like to have something around my wrist. So these smaller sizes, the lighter sizes are practical for, for daily use. I'm not trying to be a dead horse cause that's just mean, but let's look at the rope chains and picking out a rope chain if it's for you and just for your information, the rope chain is my top selling chain style. No matter what the width, it is just automatic rope chain. And that's why I talk about them like a lot because people like them. Here's the five millimeter and then the four millimeter. Any millimeter you're going with the rope chain, one, they're very durable chains. Um, if they're made right, mine are. And then two, you just get that nice thickness, um, just how the links are made, like I've said over and over and over. But it's a big factor when deciding because if you don't have that big of a budget or you just want something to stand out and it has that old school, it's a classic chain, then go with the rope. Um, again, I would not worry about the durability. I would not worry about anything. It's just a matter if you like this style of link. And for those two rope chains, I didn't mention like the five millimeter was a 26 inch. The shorter one was a 22 inch four millimeter. Um, next is the three and a half millimeter Franco chain. This is at 24 inches. The Franco chain is a very nice chain. One of the classiest 
chains the quality is very high very durable if you're thinking about buying a chain long term they just want to wear it and not worry about it then go with the Franco chain that being said the yellow is very rich on it it stands out the diamond cut sparkle so if you don't really want a chain that's gonna flash and disco ball everywhere then maybe a different chain is right for you because the Franco's draw a lot of attention even though the size isn't like huge like a big wide chain that everyone's gonna say oh you know look at this guy's chain you're not gonna be worried going around like oh I need to tuck my chain in because this right here I mean it, it has a lot of weight to it but it doesn't really look like if you're just looking it just looks like a normal chain but the the rich yellow the diamond cuts help it stand out in its own right next chain is the flat curb now these are the lightest of the cuban the curb chains the flat curves the links are relatively flat that's why they are the flat curb and again do not worry about the durability now with that being said there are a lot of manufacturers out there that make them the 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 links more spaced out and also the links a little thinner so they are some are very delicate and that's why you have to look and know the gram weight compare like what a five millimeter or six millimeter with this vendor is selling to, uh, compared to another person so you kind of have to look around if something's a lot different then you obviously know if it's less gold weight that means the links are lighter um, and that's when you might run into the durability issues. I've seen the ultra light flat links um, at like Costco and different places and I would never wear them. They're just too light. But these right here are very nice. Um, they're durable. I wear these all the time. These are my everyday chains and I love them. This is for someone like me that doesn't really want to stand out as much but wants to have some nice pieces on. Um, and I'm talking about just day to day. Obviously I have if I'm going out or something, I have the pieces that I put on that are different than these. But just every day, I know I can count on these. I know I'm not going to lose them. I know they're not going to dent, break, or anything. And they still look nice. So, And that flat curb with any gauge, any millimeter, will do that for you. Now for the bigger, better chains, we have the Miami Cuban Link. This is the 5 millimeter. Now I should have been wearing an 8 or 10 millimeter to properly represent the Miami Cuban Link because you usually see the thicker sizes but this is all I had with me right now is the five millimeter has the box class very nice chain if you have the extra money to do so then go with the Miami Cuban link but that being said you know do you really want to wear 50 100 200 grams around your neck every day if you're just shopping for an everyday chain or a starter chain the Miami Cuban links are heavy they are costly very nice chains um, but there's a reason why I picked the flat curves for my everyday chains as opposed to the Miami Cuban links just because I didn't want that weight on me every day. I feel like these are a little easier to wear. But for going out and stuff or just special occasions, definitely rock a Miami Cuban link. Alright guys, that was just a quick look at a few of the popular chains. I hope you learned something and it answered some of your questions. I get a lot of questions regarding these topics. That's why I make these videos as well as just to show what I'm shipping out. Thank you guys for all the support. It means a lot. I say that a lot, but you guys show a lot of support and I appreciate it. Um, that's it for today's video and we will see you on our next jewelry video.